Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Mid-October Early evening We've got this Big old bad boy And two big cultivating jobs to do uh, As I stated in the last episode There are two fields that we There it goes. Two fields that we harvested. So it's good that they've turned around. Oh no, we're not done yet. Uh, so it's good that they've uh, asked us to cultivate them as well. Because we do need the money. Uh, we're up to 50 odd grand to take. Oh, huge loan down with. This might need a little bit more precision done. Maybe the headland's not a good idea to start with. Yeah, I don't think that's good. Uh, take that corner off. Autumn is coming in. The leaves are looking wonderful. Uh, let's go... from here <clears throat> oh I accidentally got a worker in there and again that's definitely not this isn't a good start There we go, lower that down. We don't really have the money to spend on helpers at the minute. And to be fair, we've not been to the, the pub at the hotel for a long time. We shouldn't have put there another word with everybody. I've just been given so much work on the go. I think I'll have to cultivate this the same way that I harvested it. <coughs> and that's sort of two sections straight down. If you look at the map, bring the map up. Straight down this line. And then if you take a right angle, roughly about here, straight across that way, and go in runs. Because it's a huge field. It looks quite simple with all of this setup. This setup makes it look like. It should be a doddle, but those aren't the cases. Um, we've got quite a bit of leftover, really. Are you sure? Quite a bit of um, leftover stuff from the harvest before. The harvests. Oh, should we do an outline, maybe? 
Now let's keep this side going. Great bit of equipment, but rather strange to work around. Uh, yeah, we've got quite a lot of stock in silos. So hopefully when, if we keep our eye on the, as the months go by, if we keep our eye on what, when, what's good to sell when. And hopefully we can batter down some of this loan that we've got for the BGA. I'll not check the BGA, so I think what we'll do is, um, first part of the video, we'll get through the two big cultivating contracts that we've taken on work our way um, that is quite strange uh, <laughs> work our way back to dip way more difficult than I thought it would be can spin it around um work our way back to um back home basically because i'm sure we've got plenty of jobs and stuff to get done if we can get this done before it gets too dark then second part of the video or this episode will be um end of October morning we can see what uh, what state we're at with our own businesses as opposed to all the freelance work that we're doing at the minute colour of that the colours on that tree is superb absolute beast of a machine what's on the sales it would be brilliant on the right map this isn't it that would have been great if we'd have managed to have had the money for the harvester the new holland and that doesn't matter now anyway which is good we don't want a temptation our way What we want is to focus on clearing the debt. I've spoken to the uh, the bank and they've said it's not a debt exactly, it's a credit facility. We can always go up to the amount that we've borrowed. So as we pay it off, if something did come up, <clears throat> i.e. a tractor with about 150 horsepower and the room was left on our credit facility we could we could always take it back out and get it just in case uh, 150 horsepower Massey Ferguson came up came up came up bit of kit this this is actually pretty quick on it now I mentioned in the last episode I'm tempted with the idea possibly of 
turn in the uh, fishing club into a, a <coughs> What what did I what term did I use for it? A community garden sort of thing where we can grow grow things similar to what we've got with the allotment but obviously bigger. So we can grow things and you know, the local can get involved. We can make money off the land anyway that's there um, if it's flat enough we might be able to place some things down that can make us some money and it's a bit of a holiday vacation center anyway already because it's got tents on it so there's a camping ground fishing spot and then if we can grow stuff and make it into a community garden i think that's quite a sensible idea <coughs> i'm losing my voice <coughs> Excuse me. I'm shouting from tractor to tractor all afternoon. I'm not because there is no, I've not been able to afford any staff to work for me. What's quite amazing is. When I don't record and I'm not, I'm just literally harvesting fields, my dog just sits down and falls asleep. He makes absolutely no noise whatsoever. The moment I start recording and talking, he's straight up out, out comes one of the toys that he wants to play with and uh, he makes an absolute racket. desperate to be part of the video it's clear oh no that's someone else's field oh dear I'm so sorry <clears throat> that is so no way is this 30 percent still got all of that to do Thirty percent anyway. Oh, I'm going to have to go and apologise to whoever owns that field. That might be well. I wanted a trip to the hotel pub, didn't I? That's going to be the trip to the hotel pub because that's where you find them. These landowners, they. send all the work out to us guys to do it which is good for us unless you cultivate part of the land and then you've got to go find them explain it to them and apologize about it to them sunset's quite bright Definitely get a little screenshot of that. Didn't realise this cultivator was going to pull out this far. This is quite impressive. What I'll do is I'll do this run and then I'll <coughs> seeing as my voice is going I'll do this run and then I'll show you what I mean about the right hand side of the field
when it says 30% done what well, I don't believe it Forty now. If this was a field, then yes, but and the other field we've got is the other one that we harvested, which is another big field up oh. so at the side of this, at the side of Crossfields Dairy. And then we go up that line and all of that near the water mill. So at least we're the right side of we're the right side of the map to do it. Right side of the river. Yeah, getting towards late October. I think I can do a line down now. That doesn't look too bad. Don't, doesn't look great either, but... Um, I think if we take it about... there so it's all of this as well so when it says you're 40% done I wouldn't say we're 50% yeah but maybe about 30% Still a huge amount to do. But this setup is pulling through really well. about 20 grand of money for these two contracts so there's another 70 grand I think we've paid about 20,000 off already so if we can get these done by midnight we'll be looking at about 90 grand paid off the loan so only 410 Owed, which would be good. Absolute mess up there. What the? I suppose I'd, we've called them out. You know what you call that? Cheap taxi service for the local area. Beautiful October sky there. Right, so it's going to start getting dark. 
so I shall crack on with the cultivating tasks that we have and then um, catch up with you in the morning where we will assess where we're at uh, there'll be no money left because as soon as we get towards midnight I'm going to pay as much of the loan off as possible that will cut down what we're paying in interest uh, we do need to have a look at the leasing because we're leasing vehicles it's costing us about 600 a day as well and that's not ideal But uh, yeah, see you in the morning. How annoying is that absolute? Oh, yeah, that's an extra hundred grand added to it, though. So disappointing. We have no money left, as you can see. Um, the round bale trailer has just been sold because this uh, material breaking thing. I've got rid of it was getting so difficult to reach with the bales and then I suddenly thought well, what happens how do we get the separated manure or any manure that we're making to it so I got rid of it and made a hundred thousand on contracts paid it off the loan took out another hundred thousand and got this which is about twice the capacity i think easy to get it into into there yum 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 up the pipe into the fermenter bob's your uncle Uh, I've done some stacking of these bales not my best work I think you'll agree really difficult to get them to go flat against here because there's chaff and silage that's bled through I think and I can't seem to pick it up with anything which is rather annoying But something has happened Not gonna fit yeah. Uh might as well refuel, won't we? Uh which is the best way? Look at this way. I think this will work. I hope this works. So we can probably add another hundred thousand pound on the cost of the biogas plant. We're at maximum of borrowings. We can't borrow any more money, which is annoying because we'd like that harvester. Although, to be fair,
Why is that saying refill tractor? Where was I? Uh, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, the harvester, we haven't got any fields really that require anything like that. I mean, we'd save money on not leasing, but. We're a little way away on that. We've got half a million pounds of debt still. And realistically, we need a bigger horsepower tractor is probably the next big thing we need to be on the lookout for. Um, we did sell sunflowers, some silage bales, some hay bales in order to get the money to pay for the material breaker. I can't think of the correct name for it. Should have put that pipe away, shouldn't I? Oh well. Whoops, that was my fault. Sorry, mate. Awfully sorry. Um, you know what, I'm going in this way, I'm scared. We'll cut round this way before I make another hash of my driving. Nice little... Check out the autumn trees, some lovely views. Contract wise, there's still plenty of baling contracts to be done. Uh, silage is probably better for us because we can get a lot in that thing now. Although, hey, we can do without needing to borrow, I think, any equipment. We've got a trailer, trailer and the baler may struggle a little bit with the 47 if we're maxed upon the chucks yet. We're going to be heading back down this way as the olives are ready to be harvested. So we'll see what sort of yield we get off them. That's why we needed to sell the bale trailer in order to buy the olive harvester and the hydraulic oil that it says improves the yield. I don't know how this works but I have just bought it and it wouldn't attach to the three point link on the back of the tractor. 
And then there's a very strange thing with the PlayStation 4 controller where when you try to stop a recording, it sometimes just deletes the whole recording. And I've not found a fix for it yet. Same refill tractor again. What does it keep saying refill tractor for? What is it refilling with? So that can be picked up. I refill it with is that? Oh dear. It's quite heavy. Okay. We'll carefully take our way down. Now I've got some crates to put the olives in, but I'm not going to bring them down just yet because I don't think, what have we got, three olive trees at present? I don't think we're going to fill this, I don't know what, it, what it'll hold, but I don't think it's going to be filled off these three trees. Maybe I should have leased it to test it, but my theory is use it once if it's going to make us a bit of money. Maybe the price of olives around here is good because, you know, English made olives are not a common thing. They can grow, but. Not as. The yield won't be as good as you would find in a more Mediterranean con country climate but I have seen them grow and if it doesn't work then we've just blown another six grand it's not uh, let's get the. You've got a weight on you, haven't you? Let's set that weight.
there we go get it up there and get it opened up shall we and work out how to use it still keeps a refill tractor that wasn't happening before uh, we'll start on this one give him room to give that sheep room to move on out not the This is 85. I'm sure it said 8 or did it say 185? No, nah, it won't be 185, would it? Would it? This could be embarrassing. Yeah, 85. Five hundred. Oh, well. Wait, which one is this? So, okay. Well. Where did I park the other Massey? Uh, I'm gonna pop this up here for now. Oh, I didn't pop it round here, did I? No, I didn't. Right, let's go and find that then. Right, we're back. Let's hope this works. If it doesn't. Oh, do sheep eat grapes? That's uh... oh dear. Come on. It walked through it. Oh, you are having a laugh. Well, um, That is quite a thing. Um, I'm going to need to think now, aren't I? 
So what do we do? Do we remove them and feed the chickens? Do we remove them and I like the look of them, but how much horsepower is it actually going to need? Maybe test with a different tractor. Vineyard bits in, I suppose. Open garden, something. I like the idea of the trees being there. I like having some trees in and around here. And I like the fact that they should be able to produce us something, but... It would appear it's not going to work that way, is it? So, oh. I guess on that bombshell, if you have any suggestions or comments, Feel free to leave them in the comments section. If you've enjoyed the video, please drop us a like. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. What do I do with that? Do I get rid of it or? I've just got to keep hold of it, give it a test with a bigger tractor. Bigger tractor that has forks. No point having it really, is there? No. Oh, what a disappointment. I guess we're just going to have to take it back. It's a non-starter. Uh, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. And have a think about it. And decide what to do with it on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time. Bye bye.